Hello and welcome to the Battlefield 5 Top Plays. In this episode we have a selection of high IQ clips. The sort of plays where people have really taken everything into account and made use of what the game can provide them with. Alongside their skill, game understanding, map knowledge and of course accuracy. A fantastic clip to start us off. And now moving on, we're going to see some really nice clips from Mikisol. This guy is one of the most accurate players I've seen in the game, and I'm sure you'll enjoy these clips. Now I spawn with someone in it. Oh, 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 Moving on, we've got Stofflex. He's going to be playing on Twisted Steel on the new grind game mode using this Mark VI revolver to get a load of headshots. One of the best clips I've seen with the revolver on the top plays. A few clips sent in from Bercy. He's going to be starting off on Rotterdam, making use of the Lee Enfield in this fantastic position behind the sandbags. He seems to have waited for the enemy team to push past him. And look at all these headshots he gets in this streak. He also sent in another one, this time on Devastation of Rotterdam. Once again, using this Lee Enfield, providing a great position for him behind these enemy players. Map knowledge is at an all-time high. That quick scope just destroyed that enemy player's face. A nice little streak. You may not have known this, but you can use the Mine Clearer on Battlefield 5 in the tank in order to get yourself a load of kills. Eros does exactly this again, making use of something that people don't really know about, getting himself a big multi-kill. Using the Valentine Mark 8, he also gets another load of kills on Alpha Objective playing on Rotterdam. The same sort of situation, drops in there with the Mine Clearer, and look at what he did. One banged the tank, took out a load of enemies as well. It's part of a larger streak, but I just included this little point stack because of how satisfying it was. Very nice stuff indeed. As you guys know, I am sponsored by Blue Microphones, and these are the guys that provide amazing audio equipment for streamers, content creators, musicians, anyone that's involved in that scene and requires good audio stuff, Blue Mics are a really good company to go to. Now, I'm obviously using their stuff to record these videos and people are saying, your voice sounds good, the quality of the audio in your videos are really good. And that is down to the microphone that I use. Now, you can find the microphone I use, the Baby Bottle SL, in the description down below. If you're looking for new equipment as a streamer or a content creator, I really suggest you go down there and have a look. But for those that are looking to get something for free, I am having a giveaway in this video, as we do every month. If you want to enter, go down and click on the link down below. It's the Gleam link that you can click on. Enter a couple of details. I think you have to enter through Twitter. Follow a couple of people. Follow me on YouTube. And there you go. You're in with a chance of winning one of a few items. If you are looking to pick something up, use the link down below. It's really good stuff, as I said. A couple of clips sent in for the rush shots. Oh good map knowledge. A nice flank in both of them. I hope you enjoy. Oh, I thought he was dead, dude. What the hell? Another one would be great. Another, another no scope through the smoke would be great. chance to do my trick Get back fighting soldier 
Sanitäter! Victor Scar is next up, and look at this angle he's managed to get to drop his artillery on the enemy team. He's also going to push towards them, making use of the squad call-in with the smoke, getting involved with his STG after a couple of grenades and Piat launchers go in there, and he gets a whole selection of kills. A nice use of everything that the game has to offer on this aggressive push. This sort of stuff is exactly what high IQ players are all about. Check out that prediction headshot snipe on Hamada at very long range. A nice predictive snipe in the distance from Jai as he fires across from Delta Objective, getting himself more than he bargained for with this snipe. We don't often have aerial clips in the top plays. Sometimes it's just people dropping bombs on unsuspecting enemies on the ground, and it's not so fun. But these clips from Gary FPS are anything but that. Very nice ways to take out an enemy player in a dogfight. Satisfying stuff as well. I'll include a couple of them. He did send in a whole load of awesome fights in the air where he's won by taking down a player with the bombs. Enders is next up, and long-time viewers of the show will know that he is one of the best players on Battlefield 5. There's no argument about it, the guy is an absolute beast, and I'm lucky enough to play with him sometimes when he has time away from his stream schedule. You can find his Twitch down below in the description, along with all the other players in this episode. He's rocking the FG-42 on Devastation of Rotterdam, and this one is a slightly longer clip, but you'll see exactly why, and it's all down to the fact that he has great map knowledge and he understands how the game works. Charlie Objective has been capped by the enemy team. There's no one there on his team to defend it or indeed attack it. So he's going to push towards it, take control of this balcony section and then hold it for as long as he can. Many players now would get ultra aggressive, jump off towards Charlie, take down three or four players and then have to respawn. But he holds the position. I think he may be waiting for his team to push up. As you can see, they're starting to pincer around the side of Charlie and take control of it whilst he's up here with the FG-42, just dominating everybody that gets in his crosshairs. Urgent request for an airstrike, JV-2, this position! Next up, we've got a clip sent in from Gus. Not exactly the best top player I've ever seen, but quite entertaining stuff. Watch him count down to an AP mine kill. Oh 
<laughs> I'm awaiting the week when Huya TV doesn't bombard me with clips. It's not going to be anytime soon by the looks of it, as I have around 10 to 15 clips of his sitting in the inbox, all of which could be in this episode. A great one with the Tommy Gun. I'd like to see him use some different weapons, in fact, because the Tommy Gun, although it is very good, it's almost getting a little bit tiring at this point, seeing so many spray downs with this 50 round magazine beast. A great push towards Alpha getting himself a load of kills and again his understanding of what's happening around him is so much better than everyone he's fighting against that's what separates him from other players not only is he a beast with the kills he gets but he's just virtually impossible to kill and he survives for the longest time getting all of these awesome kill streaks Maxique is next up, playing on a RAS. He's playing in the scout class. Drops himself a beacon in a very good position as he looks to get a position on these enemy players. Just watch the no scope he gets in a second. That guy. Oh my. <laughs> I don't know what happened to him, but he should uninstall. A couple of clips sent in from Squilly. He's going to be playing on Rotterdam. As you can tell, he's playing in the support class, going for the boomstick and the revolver. Close quarters, he's going to be golden and pushing towards this Bravo sector. He's got to make sure he's in those really close quarters engagements to take advantage of the shotguns. They're not so great at distance unless you're running slugs. In fact, they're pretty terrible at distance unless you're running slugs. But he's got everything he needs as he looks to dominate this little section of the map around Bravo. No, no, no! Oh my god. He did send in another clip, this one on Devastation of Rotterdam. Running as a medic this time, the enemy team seemed to have things locked down, but he makes use of the smoke from this little smoke launcher. Of course, you can also run smoke as a grenade, but he's chosen to go for the stick grenade. Manages to get through this part of the map, and he's not running the Tommy gun, he's running the Suomi, a 50 round magazine medic SMG that again is incredibly powerful. A little more difficult to control the recoil on, compared to the tommy gun but very very effective and as you can tell his map knowledge is good he's spotting enemy players before they can kill him getting a whole load of kills um people over there killed everyone a pretty sweet thompson streak sent in from savon he's utilizing this little flanking route onto bravo as you run into the dead zone on top of the mountain and once again Enemies are really not too sure what's going on. Hip firing his way to victory on the first two, getting a nice little spray down on a couple more, and then sets to work cleaning out Bravo with a very nice kill streak. Finally, a clip sent in from Dustin Raddle. He's going to be playing on Hamada using this ZH-29, getting a few kills with some very accurate headshots and double body taps. Quite nice stuff with a gun that is very good but requires accuracy, and that's what he provides.
Hopefully you enjoyed this long episode of the Battlefield Top Plays. Some great high IQ clips. If you've got anything you want to send in, send it to battlefieldtopplays at gmail.com and I'll catch you in the next episode. Yeah, I'll fix you.